heart is beating so fast. That's a good thing. This is fun. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you really quick a fun thing is that uh, my heart is going really fast. Um, a couple weeks ago, we went to Universal, and we were, when we walked in, we had tickets that we didn't have to go to the counter. And so we didn't have the little map of the park. And um, I said, we need a map. And we kept walking, and about a minute later, you saw a roller coaster go, and a map fell out of somebody's pocket. <laughs> it's like, you know, if it was always that simple. <laughs> so, anyway. That's exactly the way it is supposed to work. <laughs> That's exactly the way. Right. I By the end of the day, maps are falling out of your right, pocket. Right, right, right. It was lovely. So, um, I have to read it so that I stay focused. Okay. Um, I've been listening to your materials for almost 20 years and my life and the way I view, view it has changed tremendously. I'm married to a man that I adore. He's strong minded and he inspires me to ask for more and know more and become more. I totally understand that I'm in charge of me and creating my life as I do. 11 years ago, my husband went to prison with a sentence that would seem hopeless. But I know with every fiber in my being that we can be, do, or have whatever we want, literally. So I know that, every, that even this circumstance is changeable. I also know that once something has manifested, it's more difficult to change. I know that I cannot create for him. He has to do it. But I also know there is power in co-creation. And so, influence. There is influence. Yes. Influence. I want that. <laughs> so my question is, we both, but we, we both want the same thing, his physical freedom. Um, you being all knowing um, know our energy stance I don't care what we've done wrong so far but what I am fully open to receive is how we can individually and together direct our energy in the strongest possible way to literally free him and both get what we want well there is so much that we want to give you here because first of all you give us an opportunity through this example and your mate really has the opportunity to experience this fully even more than you do mm -hmm. of discovering that freedom in its truest sense is alignment right. and bondage in its truest sense is resistance right. and anything of a physical nature even bars and jails and confinement doesn't even come close to the power of this resistance or allowance that right. takes place vibrationally so we've been talking a lot here today in a stronger way than usual about finding a way to release the attachment the fixation the addiction to what is and there's no one who wants to do that more than someone who's incarcerated in other words in other words if you are in a situation where the confinement of your experience is is like it is for him mm -hmm. then his only path to freedom right now is through the emotional route right so he's more likely to do it than anybody else in this room right it's like we often say we just really enjoy visiting with groups of terminally ill people a little annoying to the audience when they hear it but the reason is because they're open to new ideas right yes. in other words they're they're finally in a position where they're willing to let go of the stuff that hasn't been working for them mm -hmm. because they have nothing to lose and everything to gain mm -hmm. about going the emotional route and so that's the thing that is really exhilarating about this so your husband has an advantage in the sense that he is more likely to receive an understanding of this vortex and receive the relief of the vortex than almost anybody else because he has more reason to reach for relief in a way that he can't orchestrate the way a lot of other people would attempt to orchestrate you're following it makes sense doesn't it mm -hmm. you have an advantage over your husband in that since you are not experiencing as much of the discord of the incarceration 
your expectation and hopefulness can get into alignment quickly maybe quicker than his you're following mm -hmm. so we could tell you a long list of we could give you a long list of people who have written to Jerry and Esther over the years who have had sentences that have been assigned to them who have found their way into the vortex who have found ways to make the best of it who have come into alignment with who they are who are actually satisfied where they are and looking forward to getting out satisfied with where they are and eager for more imagine satisfied with where they are because they're satisfied with the emotional state that they're achieving mm -hmm. and when they change their emotional state when they come into alignment with who they really are it doesn't matter where you are law of attraction still works whether you are incarcerated or not in other words law of attraction is still working inside that facility there are things more in harmony with what your husband wants and things less in harmony with what he wants mm -hmm. and if he is or if anyone is telling you oh no where I am there is nothing there that I want then we are here to tell you they're not in the vortex because when you get into the vortex you will find things wherever you are that are pleasing to you you see law of attraction is a very powerful thing <laughs> so talk to us a little bit about your communication with him what your conversations are like what kinds of things does he say to you what kinds of things do you say to him um, that's big I mean I, I when when you visit mm -hmm. when you visit mm -hmm. is it on the telephone is it well it's both but it's mostly on the telephone so when you visit with him when each time that you go to visit with him what is the predominant thing that you wish to convey to him what comes first what do you say most often what do you say with most forcefulness what do, what is it that you want him to hear from you what do you usually say I want him to get right so he can be free <laughs> so but but so the reason that we ask that is because what we want what we want it to be because the tendency is I can't, I, I can't wait for you to be out I want you to get out that's of course the predominant thing that you're feeling and the predominant thing that you're flowing but what it does is it shines a big spotlight right on what is right and then causes him to look right at what is and then you go down that walk down memory lane of of everything that happened and why and and all of that is just a big jumble of stuff that doesn't have any movement in it toward what you want right I think I'm actually more comfortable where we are and feel more hopeful than he does well he we are, says that he's we are certain about that, that but okay. this is the thing since we're visiting with you and you're going to be visiting with him okay. this is what we want to convey to you okay. and 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 until you get it you can't convey it to him so Absolutely. so it is our desire to convey it to you okay. when you visit with him the predominant thing because we've talked about this all day here today you can't feel the absence of what you want so keenly and be moving toward it in other words it's just going to play out the way the sentence is written if that's the case because nothing's changing vibrationally in other words when 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 the way you when what you feel is predominantly utter and complete absence and agony over the absence of something that you want so much there's no movement in that okay. so but and yet it feels like what you should say because you don't want to say hey honey I'm having a fabulous time wish you were here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't want to say oh gosh I oh I forgot you were in there I hardly ever even think about you anymore because, and yet that's where we want you to be we want yeah. you to be so full we want you to be so full of where you're going that what is is irrelevant okay. and as we said earlier we're we people thank us for our patience we're not being patient about what's coming for for the two of you because it's already here as far as we are concerned and mm -hmm. that's what it has to be for you so the words start out sort of specific and negative I miss you I hate it without you I'm so longing for you I miss you so much I'm aching for you so much injustice has taken place this just doesn't fair I know who you really are I know what a good person you are I'll be here always but it's 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 point pointed and poignant and specific and holding you right in the same energy right. Right. so now you got to get more general okay so and and you can't get specific too soon any more than the ship can jump the 84 feet of water mm -hmm. so you're gonna move into the locks just kind of gradually and move up but what you're reaching for is that feeling of clarity and that feeling of calm that that getting more general will bring you so you say 
we haven't figured it out but we will and I know it's gonna get better whether you know it or not and I'm feeling sure about this every day and I and I know that sometimes you don't want to hear that from me because it seems like pie in the sky but I just want to let you know that my relief is coming on stronger I just I know that with the economic things that are taking place that there's less reason for now we're getting more specific there's less reason to hold so many people that are unnecessarily being held just for the sake of making a point things are loosening up all over the place I'm beginning to hear stories of, of sentences being reduced and people being released and I can just feel it I can feel it in my heart I just know that things are getting better I feel as close to you every day as if you were here because in my heart of hearts you are here you're here in my mind you're here in my dreams I'm even having occasional dreams that are you having occasional dreams yet I, I do you're having I'm even having <laughs> dreams I'm even having dreams that 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 you're, you're free and that and that and that we're together and so I know this is coming now aren't you feeling a few shivers aren't you beginning to aren't you feeling the energy of that aren't you recognizing that you've moved from specific to general and now to more and more specific now don't lay more on him than he is able to hear because right. in the same way if you get all frisky and all sure and he's had a particularly bad day and you try to affirm what you know he'll have one of these law of attraction cards moments where he'll be <laughs> tearing them up in little pieces and flushing them down the toilet in other right. words really really annoying to hear somebody feeling good when you don't so right. so so what you're so now what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to find really good timing you're you're going to begin to align with his alignment because what you want and this is what we want to convey to you more than anything what we want for you more than his freedom from incarceration is you in the vortex what we want for him more than his freedom from incarceration is him in the vortex because we know that when you're in the vortex that life is all right life is good now you can do something about that now you can set yourself free today you can set yourself free from his incarceration today he can set himself vibrationally free from the incarceration today or tomorrow or the next day and that's what your first and foremost work is about yeah. We have to tell you, it would be easier to talk to everybody in this room if you were all in jail. It would be. <laughs> it would be. It would be because you would be more willing to do the only work you can do mm -hmm. under those conditions, you see. Mm -hmm. And so start finding the sweetness of it. Start feeling the edge lift up off of you. Start noticing the positive aspects that are erupting. Start feeling the power of your co-creation. Start recognizing what the two of you have collaboratively put into your vortex as a result of this experience. In other words, your relationship is bigger and stronger. Both of you are more. The, the, if you study the histories of the heroes and the magnificent creators of all time you will find a huge part of them were incarcerated or bound by what seemed to be against their will only to discover in their own personal experience that nothing can bind them you see yeah. and when you get that that nothing can bind you because it is your it is your vibration it is your alignment now you're off and running and we're not just giving this to you because we think it is the only way that you're going to feel happy we are giving this to you because it is the path to his being released early but we don't want you to do it for that reason because then you start taking score of that which makes you lose your connection to your vortex which then slows the whole thing down you're following I am have fun with this can you hear us can you hear the sincerity with which we say this have fun with this mm -hmm. have fun with this imagine asking someone to have fun under these conditions <laughs> we're saying have fun with this have fun with this and oh 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 what a book you will write one day good time <laughs> for segment of refreshment. <laughs>